Yes, I am sure. Let's start. You should go to sleep, Mist. Okay. cats that actually have this stuff happen to them and they pull things. <laughs> cats in apartments that tall really need a um safe place to play and lay in the sun. Uh, where am I? Okay, get back home, but it's such a long way up, I'll need more energy for the climb. Okay. Right, we can save whenever we want. Okay. Hey yo! Yeah, I didn't realize we were so close to the end. <laughs> That's okay, number two um, comes out next week. Oh, okay, don't go in the water. Let's get the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. It was, I didn't realize we were there. Like, if I knew that, I would have had us just fi finish it. I would have had us finish it last week. Oh, yes. Little kitty, big city. There we go. I am surprised we didn't have to fight her. Like, we had the wave upon wave, but like, we didn't have to fight her at all. Oh, I'm inside the tree. <laughs> oh, I can pick this up. Can I do anything with it? Hello, I bring your shoe. Oh. <laughs> Cluttering. What did I get? Smash ten items. I've smashed one. <laughs> nice. I have finished decluttering my room and the rooms attached to my room and I started on the walking at uh, the the lounge room so I'm can I not open you oh maybe I've got to go out the window I'm pretty happy I'm tired but I'm pretty happy progress <laughs> oh. oh oh shit Hacha! Motherfucker. Oh. It's such a cute game. Hello, bird. Well, 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 if it isn't the flying kitty. Are you talking to me? Well, I don't see any other small cats casually thwacking innocent crows, crows in midair. That was you? I'm so sorry, it was an accident. You see... An accident, eh? Sounds like you need more flying practice. But I can't actually fly. 
And you never will with that attitude. Come on, just flap your wings and follow me. Bitch, I don't have any. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too hard on keyboard so far. <gasps> oh, hang on, guys. Hmm. Yeah, all good. This just face was in a bit of pain. I had to help her real quick. She's gone back to bed. Come an artist. Thank you. Pretty. Do you like it, good sir? to crawl with I need to move this more there we go idea where that bird actually went, hey? Zoomies! Wee -wee -wee. I found the crow by accident. Honestly, those dogs think they own the street. So there you are. What took you so long? Did you forget to flap your wings? I don't have wings. My emotional support, like I dropped it. What? Then how were you flying? I wasn't. I was falling. I fell off my window spot and now I'm all the way down here. But if you can't fly, how are you planning to get back up there? Uh-oh. Hmm, you're in quite the pickle, aren't you? Let me have a think. I've got it! How about that inferior flying that you wingless creatures do, with the huffing and the puffing and the claws? Do you mean climbing? That's what I said. I'm not sure I have the energy for climbing. I was already getting hungry when I fell. So, if a friendly neighborhood crow happened to have a lovely juicy fish, really? Then this brings us to familiar crow territory. Supply and demand. I can supply one yummy fish full of energy and I will demand 25 shiny. What's a shiny? You must know what shinies are. They're the gleaming doodads you find hidden everywhere in bushes, on ledges, sometimes under traffic cones. And they're valuable? Valuable? They're priceless! Should I hang on to them? Shouldn't I get 25 fish with 25 shinies in? Did I say priceless? Oh, I was supposed to choose something. I meant worthless, dangerous even, to everyone except crows. In fact, they shouldn't be lying around the city like this. They could hurt somebody. 
for if you collect 25 shinies, I'll be able to dispose of them very reasonably. We will be heroes. And then I get a fish? Sure. I'm on it. Friend? Haha. <laughs> Fuck you. This is my duck. There's a shiny there. Don't touch that. How do I get up there? I need to go up, up. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe I can jump up from that side. Ashabli. I got some super jumps. Hmm. Oh, hang on. I'm going to drop you here for a second. Oh, sorry, duck. <laughs> Where am I meant to be going? Where can I go? Oh, let me see if there's anything under this. How do I get the band? Can I hit you? Blocked, so we can't go that way. Look at all these people. Oh, look! Oh, bitch, sorry. How do I go up? That, obviously. Oh, this work. I want to break it. There we go. Hey, hey. What did I get? Oh my god, I got a hat! What did we get? Where, where? Inventory. Oh my god, we're so cute! There's one thing here. It's blocked as well, of course. Oh, there's a shiny up there. I'm not going to be able to get up. But I should be able to get up here. Maybe? No. 
Can I go in? Shiny in there. Can't drag that there. Oh, there's one right there. You don't have any dummies. That's oh, blocked. Oh, look at another thing. Sorry. How do we get in? help me I'm the mayor the mayor can't help you no one can thank goodness I found you you see your worship I need to get home and I need shinies and there are all these trash cans and meow, one thing at a time friend this all sounds like work cats are not built for work I can't roll my ass I'm not gonna try <laughs> cats are built for mischief and snoring we are soft, sleepy. Sometimes there is whimsy. Sometimes there is pushing things onto the floor. Yes, but... Meow. Your enthusiasm is tiring. The mayor cannot help anyone when sleepy. I didn't mean to... Meow. So you must help the mayor achieve nap time. She's only right and proper. I... Your first responsibility as deputy mayor will be the hated jars of jam. Remove these eyesores from the mayor's revision. A uh, vision, not revision. But it's just jam. It is a symbol. A symbol that a human no longer fears a cat. They leave their glass jars on shelves and expect them to stay there. It cannot continue. I guess that makes sense. But when you say remove them, swipe, push, crash, meow. The breaking of the jars will be a lullaby for your poor mayor. And then you'll help me. The mayor cannot hear you over the noise of symbolic jam. Okay. Let me get my... My duck. Where is the jam? Oh, okay, up there. Bye-bye, jam. Stop me. There's another one over there. Oh, come on. Let me move you there. Perfect. The mayor can now slumber. Um, before you do, Your Grace, you said you could help... Meow, yes. The mayor will now dispense this valuable assistance. Thank you. For helping me, I will teach you the official way to respond to jam jars. Wait, what? Or anything else that is terrible. Voila! Yuck. This is my yuck face. Yuck. You may now express disgust at any moment by holding F. <laughs> that wasn't quite what... Meow. The mayor has no need of your gratitude, little deputy. Oh, sorry, yes. Thank you. Or not thank you. Now the mayor must rest. So sleepy. No, you're not having chips. You are meant to be asleep. Go lay down. So unable to hear further requests for help. But... <laughs> yes, yes.
Carl, there's no shinies in there. There's one there. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna run into things. You go lay down. You need to go to sleep. That way is blocked. We can go this way though. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a lay down. Oh, it's so cute. You're not having chips, so don't think you're trying to sneak up and say the cat's cute is gonna work. Let go. Go put it back. I'm so cute. Pause then, gun. That's good measure. <laughs> he he he. Uh. There we go. Press um sticky too much. You're not having chips. Okay, I can't hit that. Oh shit. Oh look. Hello. You can have chips. Hi. Hello. Are you talking to me? Of course! You can see me? Um, yes? Astonishing! I've never met anyone who could see through my superior camouflage. Does this mean my power is fading? Power? Are you a magician? Indeed! In fact, if you can see me, you may be able to see the magician's hat I wear. It lets other magicians know I'm patrolling the area. So they can see you too? Absolutely not. I'm invisible to all. That's why I'm rather surprised to be noticed by you. For example, I'm so good at disguising myself that I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. See that? No, you didn't because my words are totally camouflaged. Huh, that is pretty cool. Thank you. It took years to perfect. But if you're a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? Quite! Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. My eyes are weird? Have you seen them? I don't think I can. You just have to tell me. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird. It is. And they don't seem to stick out at all. They're right inside your head, taking up valuable brain room. Maybe I use my eyes for thinking? Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? I don't think so. Should I be worried, do you think? I couldn't say. I'm a magician, not a vet. However, you're weird. Inferior eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act. Then I have finally met a worthy opponent. Wait, what? I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don new disguises, practice new tricks, and engage in the noble art of self-improvement. I don't want you to change on my account. Ah, sweet kitty, so weird, so small, so wrong. No, to restore my reputation as the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It is the only way to defeat your weird eyes. When you say you want to defeat my eyes... <laughs> Good night. Sleep well, I'll speak to you tomorrow. I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? 
No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique. Then I shall reappear somewhere else. Love you! Love you! <laughs> Obviously, I will be almost impossible to detect, so I will leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem! There is a place where hard hats shine, where concrete pours and diggers whine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your weird eye. Do you mean eyes? Have you ever heard of a poetic license? No? Well, I have one, and I'm not afraid to use it. Anyway, good luck finding me. Okay. What an interesting chameleon. Hey, look, it's shiny. Oh, wait, my... No! Ah. Uh, I left my duck up there. Yeah, she she ran away. Put that chocolate away. Come say hello. And say good night. Say good night. Bye. I love you. Hello. <laughs> you go lay in bed now. He says good night. Yeah, you lay down now. Ma'am, your legs look like they could use a trip. Not very good at tripping. I would love to say, you know, I, I can only hope she um, sleeps well tonight, but... one up there. Oh, I can't get up there, that's right. How do I get across here? Okay. I... I can't. Go 
upside down, please. I do have a duck, yes. Alright, let's go this way. Hey, look, another cat. Fresh face, you come to see birds. I've never seen them so close before, not with that glass in the way. Ah, an indoor cat, that explains it. Can I get even closer to them? You can, yes, in fact, you can even hold them. The trick is to sneak up to them without spooking them. Then you pounce. That took by me by surprise. That took me by surprise. All of the best pouncing does, little one. But they are quite cautious, certainly cautious enough to avoid a little cat. That said, I suppose there's always the bread proposition. The bread proposition? The bread proposition. Works as follows. One, obtain bread. Two, use bread as bait for birds. And three, pounce! Ah, okay, got it. Bread plus birds equals catching. But, um, do you have any bread I can borrow? Alas, no. Bread comes from humans, not cats. It's in their pockets, it's in their briefcases, it's even clutched in their hands. Does that make it theirs? Temporarily, but it can be yours if you master the art of getting underfoot. The art of just cue and swipe at their feet when they walk. When they trip, the bread will fall. Thank you for the advice. All right. Let's catch a bird. We need bread. We should, we should leave our duck. We got some shinies over here too. And we just might be near a certain little animal. Ah, oh, you idiot, why did you fall? We won't go for too much longer. This little one should be as have been asleep much longer, like much sooner. Oh my god. We need to make sure we don't go too far. You can join our Discord, but otherwise, no, thank you. Now, to get out of here. Uh oh. Everything okay in there? Until a moment ago, yes. It was easy to get in, so I assumed it would be exactly as easy to get out. Would you like some help? Let me try one more time. Something glinting in the pipe. 
I assumed it must be for the famous and portrait collector's edition Gekku commemorative medallion. And, well, in I went. Oh, uh, what? What? <laughs> the famous and portrait collector's edition Gekku commemorative medallion. Why did you want the the imported collecting gecko thingy? Those medallions are the ones with the weird era that makes gecko look like a weird sea monster exposed to nuclear radiation instead of a big gecko exposed to nuclear radiation. They're worth a fortune. <laughs> and it turned out to be normal shiny. And then I got stuck. You want it? Please. Here. Thank you. Did you say you were an inventor? I did. I love to solve problems. Some animals even say I make new problems just so I can solve them. How rude. Rude? No, it's a compliment. Like when they say, oh dear, this will take some getting used to. Oh, Tanuki, you really shouldn't have or I didn't know a raccoon could disrupt this much space time. Actually, that last one was pretty rude. I'm very clearly a tanuki, not a raccoon. What's a raccoon? It's like a little bear fox with a long stripy tail. Apparently some people think they look like tanuki, but I can't see it myself. What are you working on now? Ah, it's all very exciting. In fact, that's why I needed the... Wait! Do you smell feathers? What does a feather even smell like? <laughs> you have feathers somewhere about your person. I know it. Although goodness knows where you're keeping them. No, I could have sworn I smelled them. Oh well, if you come across any feathers, please bring them to me. I need three for a cool project I'm working on that starts space time. Wait. Oh yes. What? No, you're not having candy. You're gonna go to bed. So I gotta get bread and feathers and shinies. how I'm supposed to get to it if I can't just jump. made it. Hey. Oh, I was trying to pick up the duck. Okay, I need... You got bread? Oh, I hit my duck. I got a feather. Ah, you saw me. How about if I drop this here?
going, yeah. of own eyeballs. Why would I not have my own eyeballs? I'll take that as a yes. Question two. Is test subject in possession of all necessary limbs? They are unnecessary limbs? Hmm, seems like the test subject is becoming uncooperative. Why don't you try moving around and we can see if that answers the limb question. I don't think I'm supposed to be outside of this. Uh, where am I? Oh, you landed in the trash. Why didn't you say so earlier? The trash? That's why the smell was familiar? This is very exciting. It means the pet work works. I just need to fine tune the arrival system a little. Let me know when you've done that and I'll hop in and come back. Come back. Come back, you know, the return journey. To return what? The bit where I come back to the first pedal. Tanuki? Fascinating, yes. I can see how that would be useful. Especially with how you're now on the other side of an unclimbable fence and everything. Tell you what, I'll get to work on that return journey and you can go and explore. How long do you think it will take? I find that there are fewer recriminations when I do not commit to deadlines. I'll be in touch when the improvements are ready for a test subject or a lab assistant. Bye! Asshole. I don't think I was meant to um, be outside yet during that interaction. <laughs> but there is a shiny here. Oh, I see hard hat. We have anything in here? Oh, look, there's a jar of shiny. Ah. Uh. Okay, so you don't like me. Mm. That was. Ah! Look at the way he's holding me. Stay out. Just want the jar. Ah! OK. 
Okay, I can't. Ah, don't touch me. Ah. That's alright, we'll leave it there. That bird just pooped on the floor.